my luggage on the bus on the way to Missouri. You'd think the driver, if a certain number of people get off the bus and are reporting, he'd count and make sure they were all there. You'd think they'd make a last call announcement before shutting the door since he saw me. The driver went, shrugged me off because the door was closed and the magical door, once the fucking door's closed, that's too bad. The driver sees there's another passenger, just shrugs it off and goes on with his day. They don't make an extra call to make sure everyone's on. And then when I get mad about it, they kick me off the premises and try to keep my ticket and then swear at me. Even though the whole reason I'm getting kicked out is because I use swear words. Oh my God. This is unreal. I mean... Now, you're gonna be off the bus for about, oh, 45 minutes to an hour. Depending on how long it takes them to clean the bus. Now, when they call you back to the bus, they will call you back behind door number one. Door number one, when it's time to reboard the bus again. That's what bus drivers are supposed to do. Just kicked into the middle of the street because I was in the bathroom. Oh my God. My stuff is on that bus. I was on, uh, just in the bathroom. No one made an announcement. How did they make it? Yeah. I came in late. I went to the bathroom. I came back out. Everyone was on the bus, and the bus driver shrugged at me and won't let me on. What? There was no announcement on the bus because there was no intercom. So no one told us this. Inside the terminal. I heard absolutely nothing. I came, I went into the bathroom, I came back out, everyone was gone. Well, maybe I was still on the bus because I was the last one off the bus because they never told us we had to get off the bus. Not when I came inside. Are you fucking serious? Okay. I was on the bus. You, you, you saw the bus driver just shrugged at me and said, oh, well, you told him that I was still getting on that bus. What is that? What? Why would he sign out when he's missing a person? Okay, sir, but when the driver told you guys to come in here and go to door number six, the driver said for you to come in and go to door number six. So as soon as he sees um, everybody that was at door number six, and he didn't wait to see if there was anyone still in the bathroom? No. Why would he not wait to see if anyone's in the bathroom if I have if I have a itinerary that says there's an hour and a half wait here? Okay, I'll stop yelling. The itinerary says there's an hour and a half wait here. Okay, sir, that's if you was on time, but you wasn't on time. I wasn't late. My bus was late. But and I the driver told you to go to door number six, you went to door number six. Which everyone was standing in line waiting, I went into the bathroom, I came out, and everyone was gone. So because I had to poop, I have to wait another six hours because no one... Why would you not make an, a last minute, like, last call? Because apparently you made a call while I was still on the bus okay, so over your intercom. The driver told you guys when you got off the bus to go to door number six. You should have just waited at door number six. Why would he have not have mentioned that we're getting right on a bus and leaving if my itinerary says okay, an hour so and a half? To read his mind? Okay, sir. Why would I? How would right, I know? What time is it now? It's about to be one o'clock. So you're telling me I'm now ten hours behind because that bus driver, because you guys didn't make a hey last call. Every other stop, they're like hey last call boarding. You guys didn't bother doing that for people who might be in the bathroom. 
they didn't let us know anything because there isn't an intercom on the bus. Okay. So they wouldn't just got off and we're sitting there going, what's going on? Wow. So I'm just stranded in Arizona for the rest of my life because you guys... How many times do I have to tell you to stop yelling? Well, can I talk to a supervisor? I'm the supervisor. You're the supervisor. And this, and this is the way you guys normally do it? You don't make a last call? The bus driver doesn't count to make sure the people get off? When the driver told you to go to door number six, you went to door number six. He said to wait at door number six. Wouldn't it be common sense that you'd make a last call or that you'd count and make sure that everyone who got off the first bus got on the second bus? Why would you not make a last call announcement? Why? On earth would you not make a last call announcement? And why would he not, does he not count to make sure this? Why would he not count to make sure this? You can walk out right now. Jesus Christ. How do I get you? I just want to know why you. Well, I'd like to know why you didn't make a last call announcement and now I'm 10 hours behind. I mean, are you serious? <sighs> Meanwhile, my stuff is on that bus and I have to wait 10 hours for the next one. And now here comes security to fuck with me because dear Lord, I got mad. Great. Have you been asked to leave? Uh, I was stranded here, and I'm waiting for a bus to Missouri. Am I supposed to just live in this town now? Because that, because A, let me tell you what happened. A. All right, get your stuff, let's go. We're going to talk out here. You're not you're just kicking me into the street? I mean, are you serious? So now what happens? This way. What happens? I'm not, I'm not leaving the premises. And then what? Well, are you going to kick me outside? In this way. Why? I'm talking to you. No, why can't you talk to me right here? I'm talking to you right here. Why can't you talk to me here? You got a ticket to go? Yes. Let me see it. <laughs> what? What do you think this is all because I don't have a ticket? Are you? What's wrong with you people? All right, come here. Oh no, you guys, it's my ticket, so I have to go with him. Yeah, right. You want to tell me what's going on here? You want your ticket? Yeah, I'd love my ticket. You want to tell me why, A, they didn't tell us on the bus that the next bus was leaving, and then they don't make an announcement last boarding. And they don't count to make sure the same amount of people get on the bus that got off the bus. I can't help that. So what is going on here? You was asked to leave, right? I have a paid ticket. I'm with people waiting for me in Missouri. I missed the bus because nobody here did their job. And now you're taking my ticket. Can I have my ticket, please? He was asked to leave by one of my employees. Because I, she didn't want to admit that she didn't make a last call and that the driver didn't call. It doesn't matter. So I have to live in Arizona now? You have to come back? When? Later on today. What do you mean later on today? When does she get off? When's her shift over? I, that's not your business. Well, apparently that's when I'm allowed back in. Well, come back in the morning. Come back an hour before your bus. I ha my, they, my, my luggage is on the bus. Come back an hour before you. Give me my fucking stuff. Don't, don't, don't. It's my ticket. Don't, 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 invo don't invade my space. Then give me my ticket. I'm going to take you down if you invade my space. Then give me my ticket, please. You're not riding you the bus. You're, well, it's fine, but give me my ticket because it has my information on right, it. Let's go this way. What the hell are you doing? Oh my God! Dude, give me my ticket, please! I don't know if you heard of the First Amendment, but I'm allowed to say the F word. Did you know that? I don't know if you heard of the First Amendment, but this is private property. We have the right to deny you also. Because I, you're I, screwed up. Because you're screwed up. I get, because I get mad. Would you get mad if you got stranded here because they didn't? No one made a last first call. All, I was in the bathroom. All, if I'm thousands of, thousands of miles away from my house, I'm gonna be on my best behavior because I know that if I'm on private property, they have the right to deny me. That's what I'm going to do. Wow. Can I have my ticket, please? As long as you go that way and don't come this way. For how long? I told you, an hour before you leave. 
I'm just stranded in the middle of the fucking... I can't help that. Give me my ticket. Have a good one. Fuck you. What's your name? Have a good one. What's your name, security? Have a good one. What's your name? It's Blank. Yeah, your name's Blank? That's right. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. What's that? Fuck you. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, hypocrite. Have a good one. Wow. I got kicked off for using the F word, and then he just used the F word. It's 1.05 in the morning. I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I just got kicked out for swearing. <laughs> oh my God. Excuse me, what's your name? Yeah. Tim, thank you. And driver, excuse me driver, is there a reason you didn't let us know that the bus would be leaving right away? You made no announcement. I got stranded here because a, you didn't tell us it was going to be leaving right away. B, they didn't make a last announcement. And C, the driver waved me off. Yes, I did. In you did fact, what? When we left live, I advised everybody on the bus that when we got to Phoenix uh -huh. to collect everything off the bus, we're going to move you onto the bus immediately. Are you unaware that the people in the back of the bus cannot hear you? And with then that? I walked to the back of the bus and I told you. Told me what? You I never told me? I walked to the back of the bus and told you. You didn't tell me anything. I did too. Because I walked to the back of the bus and you were like, Nobody said anything. And I said, gather your things, go to door number six, we're going to board I was, you immediately. I slept through Blythe. I have but no idea. I told you when we pulled in here. What? Told me what? Exactly, to get on the bus, to gather your things and step on the bus. No, I understand that, but why would you not let us know it's leaving right away? The, the itinerary Sorry. says an I hour was and a half. right there when the driver told you guys when you first pulled up. He said, I just went to the your... bathroom. They didn't okay, even make the last call. Right? Just go. go complain at the at the service desk. All right. I told you. I told. Why Why did everybody else get on the bus? The, I would have gotten on the bus. Every, I was in the bathroom. You fucking idiot. Everybody else get on the bus, but you. you. Know what? what is yeah, wrong with you people? Going. Keep on I going. told you. I gave you the information. You yes, to stand in line. How would I know it's leaving right away? But you're wrong. Eugene. What do you mean I'm wrong? Eugene. You think I intentionally did this? What the fuck is wrong with you people, Tim? Oh, you're smiling, huh? The fucking idiots. Are you mocking me, Kim? What's that? Wow. Making fun of me. Because they stranded me here. Unfucking believable. Thanks for calling Gracia. I am Gracie, your virtual travel consultant. Oh, God. Oh, God. A virtual assistant, this would be great. If I can help you plan a trip by telling you what time the bus leaves or arrives, how much a trip costs, or where a station is located, press 1 now. If you're calling about a customer service concern, such as a refund, lost or delayed baggage, or any other aspect of the Greyhound travel experience, press 2. If you'd like to hear this menu again, press 9. Thanks. To reach the customer assistance center, please hang up and call 214-849-8966. That number again, please press 3. For all other assistance, please press 4. Oh my god! The offices are currently closed. <laughs> Our customer care center will reopen at 5 a.m. Central Time on the next business day. Oh my god! They just stranded me here, and they kicked me off the premises because I got mad about it. Yeah. Is there a like a Denny's or or some rest some place that I can use Wi-Fi so I can? Well, actually, not real close, man. How far away? The only one you can use is uh, maybe the McElsons, but you need to ask the lady. Right yeah, there. yeah. Where is that? It's just go down that street right there. Down a quarter mile on the way. That street right there. Yeah. That just, way. Just walk that way. You'll see. Quarter it. mile. Just, just go across the. Uh, Thank you. Great. He told us to line up at door number six. He didn't tell us we were leaving right away instead of an hour and a half like the itinerary says. They didn't make a last call. And then the new driver saw me standing there at the door, waved, oh well, and left anyway. But it's my fault. It's my fault. Yeah, or it's my fault. I did this on purpose. Now I'm wandering the streets of, where am I, Phoenix? Looking for Wi-Fi. Jesus Christ. Motel 6. Maybe they left the light on for me. That would sure 
make this go a lot better. Hi, Joe. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm terrible. I'm hoping you can help me. I am a Greyhound passenger on my way to Missouri. Okay. Um, the bus driver, there's no intercom bus, so they never told us that we had to switch buses. So he finally we realized, you know, word of mouth, got off. I went into the bathroom, and then they loaded the other bus. It's supposed to be an hour and a half layover. Uh -huh. They loaded the other bus. I came out of the bathroom. I saw that. I ran to the door, banged on it. The driver goes like this, shrugs, and leaves. Oh my God. I go to the counter trying to get them to do something about it. And I obviously get a little upset. She kicks me out. The security guard tries to keep my ticket, and then he swears at me. The whole reason they kicked me out is for because I used some swear words, because apparently the First Amendment doesn't work at Greyhound. <laughs> and then he said, fuck you to me. And now I'm stranded in the middle of, oh my goodness. and I have no money. So obviously I can't, I'm not asking to stay here. I need to use your Wi-Fi. Because once they kicked me out of the terminal, I couldn't even use their Wi-Fi to, to let people know that I'm now 12 hours behind. Do you have... Okay, thank you. It's my first night here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, well, well, that's something. It's your first day. Really? Literally, they're like, he tried to keep my ticket. I'm like, I'm supposed to just live in Arizona now? I'm trying to get to Missouri. Are you coming in right now? To Missouri? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Okay, so you need a room. I don't have any money. money. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, I, so me, this is a shot in the dark. I don't know if you even have the power to do this. I have a, oh, you, I'm saying in an hour, in an hour. So I have a YouTube page that gets, that got almost a million hits last year. And I do like, like commercials for different things. If you comped me a room, I would do the greatest um, Motel 6 is the awesomest place in the world commercial. If you have an extra room that's not going to get used tonight. I can't comp rooms. Okay. I mean, if my manager was here, maybe, but I have nobody here to manage. It's amazing. It was worth a try. Yeah. Well, then, second case scenario, I just need to use your Wi-Fi because once they kicked me off the premises, I couldn't even connect to tell people that I'm now 12 hours behind. Thank you. Can I just sit outside right out there and use it? Thank you so much, You're girls. Okay. Have, you too. So here I am sleeping on the ground next to a Motel 6. I don't have a sleeping bag because my sleeping bag is on the way to Missouri. And the bus driver saw me at the door, shrugged his shoulders, got on the bus, and drove away. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, it's now almost six in the morning. I'm freezing from being out in the desert, sleeping on cement all night. Not sleeping, I mean, I don't really think, I don't think you can call it sleeping. I've been laying here shivering. Oh my God. But it's also the desert, so now the sun's coming up, which means it's going to be incredibly hot really soon. But right now, I'm freezing. Okay, you still there? Yes, sir. Okay, but don't get mad at me because I've been sleeping outside on a sidewalk because I got screwed by Greyhound. Okay, last night I took, I was taking a bus from San Diego to Missouri. There's four transfers, but Phoenix wasn't one of them. And apparently the bus I was on didn't have a PA system and the bus driver wasn't smart enough to realize that no one in the back could hear his announcements. So apparently in Phoenix we were supposed to change to an identical bus that was going to continue on. And apparently because it was far behind schedule, instead of the hour and a half layover that it says in my itinerary, they just got on the bus and left. But no one told me that. So there was like five of us sitting on the old bus waiting thinking that bus was going to leave until a customer came to get her stuff and told us, hey, we're switching to another bus. So we all get into the terminal and everyone's lined up and I go into the bathroom. When I come out of the bathroom, everyone in that line had already gotten on the new bus and the door was closed. So I run up to the door and I bang on it and the guy who loads the luggage, you know, noticed, motioned to the driver who hadn't gotten on the bus yet. And the driver walks by the window, sees he has another passenger, shrugs his shoulders, shakes his head, gets on his bus and leaves with my luggage. 
So obviously I'm a little pissed off at that point. So I go to the window and ask him, A, a why there was no announcement. And she insists she made an announcement, which apparently she did while I was still sitting on the bus. But even, even though they changed the layover from 90 minutes to like three minutes, they didn't think of making, I don't know, a, hey, last call announcement? So people who might be in the bathroom don't miss their bus? So at that point, she's arguing with me that she did no nothing wrong, and I'm getting a little upset. So she asked the security guard to remove me from the premises. He takes my ticket and threatens to not give it back, which was great. I'm, I'm like, I'm supposed to live the rest of my life in Arizona because nobody here knows how to do their job. But anyway, he finally gives me my ticket and says, fuck you to me three times on camera, which is great because the whole reason I was supposedly kicking out, getting kicked out was because I used bad language when I was upset at the ticket counter. But then the security guard says, fuck you to me three times. And I get to spend the night sleeping on a sidewalk in the middle of the desert without a blanket because my blanket is on the way to Missouri. So is this the normal way that, that uh, Greyhound operates or was this a special case? Yeah. Please. What that one you're getting at? Your reference number? Uh, reference number. I have a confirmation number. Is that what you need? Yes, sir. Okay, it's 13399. Uh, leaving from San Diego, going to Kansas City, Missouri. Yes. The original destination would be from leaving the whole city. Well, the, 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 the one, the, the, ad, the other one I had would, uh, was changing buses in, uh, Oklahoma City. This one has me changing buses in Tulsa, which has me really worried because I, I don't know if my luggage is in Oklahoma City or if my luggage went all the way to Missouri. Hold on a second, though. They're going to make another announcement, and I won't be able to hear a thing. Oh, see, he's making a final call announcement. That's nice of him. If they had done that last night, I'd be halfway to Missouri right now. But she made one announcement while half of us were still sitting on the bus. God. Okay. You still there? Okay. You have no idea how cold it was last night. I don't I don't think I slept. I just laid under my jacket and just shivered on the cement. This the this uh Location is in the middle of nowhere, so I had to walk for like a mile just to find a place with Wi-Fi so I could let people know that I'm not going to be arriving when I thought I was. Because once they kicked me out, I had no way of even contacting the outside world. So here's the thing, sir. I will just document everything you have said today. Okay. And also, you know, Kelly is doing it. However, after you finish your trip, sir, you can call us back for a resolution and compensation. I missed a bus in Phoenix, so I guess my luggage came here yesterday. Those are the baggage claims. Hopefully it's here. Uh, this is my last stop.
I hope so. Should be two. Huh? This should be two. Two. There's a green one too, like a green uh, duffel bag. Green and black. What's that? It goes, you should go down here, yeah? unless they broke it. Yeah. Well, to start. Well, the green one Except. Out of the bus. What's that? It was underneath the bus. Oh, great. They ruined my bag. That's awesome. That's just awesome. He's looking around for it. Tell me one of my bags came and the other one didn't. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, this, this tag number there. Both would come in together. Yeah. Let me get your number down. My phone number? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if my Obama phone's gonna get to work here. Let me see. Yes, I'm calling about an uh, open case. I called in a complaint because I was treated unbelievably poorly and I have a reference number. Okay, let me transfer you to the cover that company. Stay on the line, okay? Thanks. Anything else? No, thank you. Thank you for calling. Great, have a great day. You too. Stay on the line. Thank you for calling customer service. Yes, I have a reference number from a complaint that I called in in the middle of my trip, and they told me to call back at the end of the trip to discuss the refund. Do you have that reference number? Yes. You ready? Yes, I am. 204. Second, Yes. What? Please stay in the line. I just have to check the ticket. Okay. Just want to know what city did you have as you said that there is a delay? What was that? Why you said you were a bit, as you said, because there is no documentation here on my end. There's no wait. There's no documentation. She, she that she left me on. There, she wrote down. Documentation. Sir, a second. There is a documentation that is just taking it. That, and she said that you were the bus had a delay. The bus is late. Right? In what station or what city is it? What city is it that it has a uh, I was stranded in Phoenix, and they kicked me out of the the the. Uh, train station and made me sleep out in the street without my blankets because I got angry that they drove off after changing the, the layover from 90 minutes to 3 minutes without telling anybody who was in the back of the bus because they... No, the bus, no. the bus was running late. It was already running two hours late. So they decided instead of having a 90-minute uh, uh, changeover in Phoenix, they just loaded us on a new bus and left. But they didn't have an intercom on the bus. So those of us in the back of the bus didn't know that was happening. So I was in the bathroom, and the bus, the new bus just left without me, with my baggage, now one of which happens to be lost. See, at the time, I thought both of my bags were going to be 12 hours ahead of me. But when I finally arrived... The bag, one of the bags is missing. 
But that's not the worst part because they, when I got angry at the woman at the station, they kicked me out of the station and made me sleep outside in the middle of nowhere without any blankets because they had sent my bags forward. Yes. I was told I could take a bus that was 12 hours later, even though the driver of the bus that I missed literally saw me standing there, shrugged his shoulders, and drove away. So when I got angry at the people at the ticket counter, because they never made a secondary announcement, there was just one announcement while I was still on the bus, because none of us in the back knew that the bus was getting changed that quickly. So I was in the bathroom, so I missed the bus. And when I got angry, they, the manager had the security guard kick me out of the, the terminal and threw me into the street, which is in the middle of nowhere in Phoenix. And I had to sleep on the cement without any blankets. And I have it all on tape, including the security guard swearing at me after telling me that I was getting kicked out for swearing. That's the best part. Okay. Um, your trip, your actual trip started from Phoenix going to Kansas City. My actual trip started with San Diego. When I got to Phoenix, we were two hours behind, and the way they made it up was by having us get on a new bus and leave right away. But those of us in the back didn't know that was happening because there was no intercom. I see, I see. Yeah. Well, on, on my itinerary, it said that we had a 90-minute layover. So I went to the bathroom, and when I came out of the bathroom, the bus was loaded up. So I ran to the door, and the bus driver saw me standing there because he was still walking by the door to get on the bus. He shrugged his shoulders, said, too bad, and he left with my baggage. And then when I got to the, court, to the counter, they said I had to wait 12 hours. And then when I got angry, they kicked me out into the street and made me sleep outside. And I had to wait till the next shift of supervise of uh, people came in to be able to get back into the terminal. Okay, I just want to know why is it you were in Phoenix, Arizona station? Because that's where we had a transfer. Because as I check it here, if you started your trip from San Diego, California, you um, sorry, sorry, you go to the eleven o five a.m. Right? Yes. Yeah, well, that's exactly what my, exactly, that's what my itinerary said. So we, this wasn't a scheduled transfer. They took us off of one bus and put us on the same bus with the same number. Because they were two hours behind, they didn't have time to clean it and fix it and uh, uh, refuel it. So they, they had a new one, they had another one ready because they were so far behind. But we, in the back of the bus, we didn't know that because the damn bus driver didn't bother to make sure the people heard in the back because there was no intercom. I don't have those papers anymore because when they gave me the new, the new papers that. Ha well, it fell behind in traffic, so so by the time it left LA. Yes. 
Yes. Correct? Yes. Why is it you go down okay. When you had a son train in Neo California, you boarded a bus schedule, right? That's that's the one that was behind. That And I didn't, they, the bus driver told those of us who were going to transfer in Indio to transfer in San Bernardino instead so we could get a better seat. But when we waited in that San Diego bus station for two extra hours because that bus was an, was like 90 minutes behind getting to pick us up in San Bernardino and then Indio. So by the time it picked us up in San Bernardino, it was already an hour and a half behind or two hours behind or whatever it was. I don't remember what the Leo was supposed to be in, in Indio or San Bernardino, but that bus fell so far behind that by the time it picked us up, it was already almost two hours behind its its regular schedule. Okay. Ridiculous. What did it say again? We arrived at Phoenix after one in the morning. That's when we arrived in Phoenix. And like I said, they trick. What's that? Yeah, a little delay. But like I said, they made up time by not having us have a 90 minute layover. But because there was no intercom on the bus, those of us in the back didn't know. Now, the other people who were transferring were lucky enough to already be in line. But because I didn't know, I was in the bathroom. The line boarded the bus. The bus driver saw me and decided he didn't give a shit. So he drove off. And when I tried to talk, ask the count, the ticket counter why they didn't make a last call, normally if you're going to change a, a layover from 90 minutes to 3 minutes, you'd make a last call for people who were like in the bathroom or at the gift shop. But they didn't bother making the last call. So I was understandably angry at them. And that's when, because I was angry because they didn't make a last call, they kicked me out of the station and made me sleep outside without any blankets because they sent my luggage forward on the bus. As I've explained over and over and over again. Hello, sir? Yes. I can only operate you for this one, a trouble voucher. You can only offer what? Voucher. What is that? A travel the voucher? voucher is, yeah. When when I called before and I told the woman the whole story, she said to call back at the end of the trip for a refund on the ticket. But you cannot issue you a full refund. Why? I'm sure I can, this. I don't know, sir, why is it that for this agent told you that you can have a full refund? But for this one, sir, I really do apologize that we cannot issue you a full refund. Now what what, what would have what would have had to have what would have had to have happened on the trip to get a full refund? The trip has been cancelled. If the trip were, um if depending on the situation, sir, but because I really do apologize, uh, we cannot issue a full refund for that. Based on what rationale? I mean you you have a specific thing that says if if the security guard threatens you and tries to keep your ticket, kicks you out into the street and swears at you, that that's only worth fifty dollars? Okay, sir, I do understand. It's not worth fifty trouble about your life is not worth the trouble about your fifty dollars, that's what she said. I do understand that as she said, the eight um the the ticket guard told you um said a um not nice thing to you, but we really do apologize. So that's for sure this will be investigated. He said fuck you to me three times, excuse me, he said fuck you to me three times after kicking me out for swearing. It's not that he swore at me, I was thrown into the street for 12 hours because I got mad at the ticket owner, and then they kicked me out and swore at me and made fun of me. And I have it all on tape. So I'd like to talk to your supervisor, please. That's fantastic, and I'm going to get a full refund on my ticket. Hello? 
So what do I have to do to escalate this above? Obviously, you can only give me $50, but there's going to be a supervisor somewhere that you transfer me to who's going to realize that I'm not going to stop complaining until you give the full refund because you put my life in danger and I have it all on tape. And that's worth more than $50. And my luggage is lost, which I know that's a separate thing, but the fact that that all happened because of all this happening... I would have been able to keep track of my luggage if I was with it. But instead, my luggage went on to, to Missouri without me because a bus driver didn't feel like letting me on because I was in the bathroom and no one told me it was a three-minute layover instead of a 90-minute layover. And because they didn't make a final call. Because the bus driver never had any common sense to let the people in the back know what he was saying if he didn't have an intercom. So it took three people not doing their jobs for this to happen to me. It gets cold in the desert when you don't have a blanket and you have to lay on cement. So should I call back during the day? It sounds like they were more... The, it, it, does it go to the American call centers during the day? They might have more leeway. I assume you just have a maximum you're allowed to give us and... Yes. Um, for this winter, it will be depending on you, sir, um, what you want to, or if um, you want to speak, uh, because the only thing that I can offer you is a travel voucher of $50. I can't so that wasn't even going to be a refund of $50? That was $50 towards a future perfect purchase? Okay. Travel voucher, that is more of um, a voucher you can purchase this one at the station. And then you, uh, for one year. No, so what I'm saying is you weren't going to give me a refund even for the $50. That $50 was towards future Greyhound travel. Yes. That's bullshit. I, I don't know if, uh, sorry to be angry, but that's bullshit. That woman told me on the phone to call back when my trip was over to talk about a refund, not about a travel voucher for a mode of transportation that I will try in all desperation to never use again as long as I live. No, I want my money back for the trip that I was thrown out into the street and had to sleep in a freezing cold cement. After they threw me out of the street, swore at me and laughed at me because none of them did their jobs. And I have it all on tape. $50 travel voucher, dear Lord. <laughs> And I have the woman on tape telling me to call back for a refund. So there better be a refund at the end of this rainbow because I have that on tape too. No, I'm getting my ticket refunded in full. They put my life in danger and threw me into the streets. And I have it all on tape, including the security guard saying fuck you to me multiple times after telling me I was getting kicked out for swearing. So I'm getting my full ticket refunded. No, sir, we can yes, no, I'm going to have to talk to your supervisor then. Or should I just call back during the daytime hours? Will, there be, will it be going to an American call center during the daytime hours? Because they seem much more, uh, when I called during the day in the morning last time, they seem much more sympathetic. $50 does not do anything about kicking someone into the streets, breaking company policy, having the security guard threaten me and swear at me and then leave me in the middle of the middle of nowhere with no blankets. So no, $50 doesn't cover that. The full refund on the ticket covers that. Yes, you can. So I'm going to need to talk to your supervisor. Well, you may not be able to, but somebody's going to. So let me talk to your supervisor, please. Sir, um, this is already the highest mode of escalation. What's that? This is already the highest mode of escalation, sir. I don't know what that means. I can't understand what you're saying. Something about escalation? This is already the highest mode of escalation. 
The highest escalation you can do is refunding $50 after a $136 ticket after they not only kicked me out of a station, made me sleep out in the cold without blankets, but then lost one of my pieces of luggage? I don't think so. Yes, I just filed a claim with that before I called you. Yes, I'm already separately applying for the fact that you lost my bag, but the only reason it got lost was because the bus driver didn't tell us that we had to change buses in three minutes. The second bus driver didn't let me on. The person that ran the desk didn't make a final call. And then when I got mad about that, I was thrown out into the street by a security guard who I have on tape swearing at me three times. So no $50 doesn't cover that. Sorry to be mad at you, but I'm a little pissed off that this is the most that Greyhound does when they put somebody's life in danger. I had to sleep on the middle in the middle of nowhere without a blanket. And they mocked me. I have them on tape laughing at me after kicking me out as if it's funny. So I'm going to need to talk to someone about who I can send the video footage I have of them treating me like a subhuman being and then you offering me $50 in compensation for that. What, just out of curiosity, where are you located? I'm actually located here in Philippines. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, how's the weather down there? Okay, thank you for... Hello, Yes. You can offer what? Offer you a credit of fifty dollars, uh, fifty dollars a week. A fifty? I can't understand what you're. You're, you're going to credit the. I'm sorry. Can you hear me now, brother? Yes. I can offer you a credit of fifty dollars. You mean credit the 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 card that bought the ticket for fifty dollars? Yes. yes. That's I, the only thing, sir. Other than that, no. I cannot offer you more than that. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll call back. I'll call back in the morning when I can talk to a supervisor. You, so you can't transfer me to a supervisor? Um, let me see if I can look for available supervisor for you, sir, okay? Yeah, oh, great. Um, I've only been asking for the last 25 minutes. That's awesome. Thank you. Hello, sir? Yes. I only want to apologize, sir, but my supervisor is not available. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to call back in the morning. No, I'm I'm done. I'll call back in the morning. Thanks. Fuck you.